But let me. But I have to comment on this on this uh, neoliberalism's failure. Not that I'm a neoliberalist, because I think they're way too moderate in their support <laughs> of markets. But I mean, to 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 look around the world today and see darkness is to have shades to be wearing shades. I travel all over the world. I sp I've spoken in 60 different countries. When I go around the world, when I go to Eastern Europe, or I go to Asia, or I go to China, or you go to Vietnam, or you go to any of these countries, what you are seeing is that the creation of markets, the ability to have free markets, even in limited circumstances, brings out human potential. People are so hungry to be free as individuals, so hungry to be left alone from the state dictating every single aspect of their lives. And as a consequence, a billion people, over a billion people, have come out of extreme poverty over the last 30 years. And you can ignore that, you can pretend it didn't happen. But globalization has brought more wealth to the world, has helped poverty, p the poor, more than any other theoretical abstract system in human history. Over a billion people over the last 30 years have come out of extreme poverty. The middle, there's a middle class today in India and in, in, in China that did not exist 30 years ago. 30 years ago, 30% of the planet lived on under $2 a day. Today, the number is under 9%. Now, that should be something we should be celebrating and asking the question, how did this happen? This is a, indeed a beautiful thing. None of it happened because of foreign aid. None of it happened because of the exploitation of Marxist ideology. They already had that. It's indeed the rejection of that Marxist ideology. It's the rejection of central planning. It's the rejection of the idea of the proletarian that has brought this around. It's, it's the fact that Deng Xiaoping in China, as evil and a bastard that he was, was willing to say, look, it worked in Hong Kong. Maybe we should try this in the area around Hong Kong and see what happens. We'll just leave them alone. And when you leave people alone, when you leave people free, then they create things that exceed our imagination because you are liberating the human potential. And that is true. If you, if you go back 250 years ago, 95% of humanity lived on $2 a day or less. Imagine your own lives on $2 a day or less. We want, we, people, people tell me, you know, we have a lot of anxiety in life today. Think about living where you're growing your own food and half your children are dying before age 10. That is the world before capitalism, before free markets. Capitalism is the greatest liberator in human history of the poor. Of, of the 95% who used to be in adjunct co poverty. It is, the greatest, it is the greatest system we have ever come across, and the antagonism towards it I find mystifying uh, because, again, human life has never, ever, ever been better than it is right now, and it's, it could be a lot better, that we'll agree on, because I don't think we're capitalist enough. We don't take our capitalism seriously enough, and there's a trick in your question, right? Because you have equated fairness with equality. But fairness never used to mean equality. Fairness means getting what you deserve. And I would argue that equality is not what you deserve. Some people deserve more and some people deserve less but based on the value they create. But how do you define deserve? I mean, suppose you're born well, with special educational needs and it's very difficult for you to hold down a normal job. Do you just deserve to be poor because, you know, something was a little well, bit wrong with your brain when you were born? In, in, a, in a sense, in a that? sense, so, so let's flip that around. What makes it because you were born that way? What gives you a claim against what I produce? What gives you a claim about my effort and my values? That is, I might help you because I care for you and, and I care about human beings. But what gives you a claim against me and, and, the, and the right to use violence against me in order to fulfill violence. that claim? I never suggested violence. Well, taxes. <laughs> well, what is redistribution of wealth? There's not taxes, a violence against some for the benefit no, of others. It's not violence. Get your...